Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more TGT 2019 and of course we are going to be playing today is Sonoma Vine Wine and Cheese Club and this is by D-Dog. So the fairways are normal, the greens are firm and the green speed is fast. One, two, three, four, five sets of tees will go off the black at 7,425 yards. We'll keep it on pin set number one and let's get going. I've been meaning to play this for a while, so I do apologize, D-Dog. I just haven't got around to it. I mean, as you probably know, I do get quite a few requests, and for you guys out there as well who do request me to play some courses, I do get quite a few a week. I must have, I don't know, seven or eight pending. What I try to do, I mean, I do only do maybe two or three courses a week sometimes, and I'll pick one and I'll do a request, but I can never get around to every single request I get, so I do apologize for that. I do try to do some of them. Okay, so let's put the old, oh, where the hell is it? Come on. Ah, that's why I had my cursor on the other screen. There we go. Let's have a little dart around here. Like a nice coastal kind of course. So you've got the lighthouse over there. Let's go up and have a little, little blimp look at it. Okay, there's a vineyard as you can see, sort of in the middle of the course now. Go down and have a little look. Nice big clubhouse here. Very nice. Like a big country club. Now, I do like the edging he's got around his sort of path here, or his road. Pretty cool. Okay. Nice big lake, rock work around it. And you've got the little bridge. Again, some nice rock work around the, the smaller lake there. We've got a few eagles, I think. No, that? It looks like a crow or a, a raven. <laughs> Murder. Murder of crows. Okay, here's the vineyards. Very nice. This, but it's, um, when people do this, I just don't like how uniform they are. I don't know if they can rotate bushes and things in the game, but they just you see it. It's just, or oh, HB should give them a, a lot more different sort of bushes and that of the same sort of size type. You know what I mean? So they can just sort of, they're not as uniformed. But yeah, looks very nice. Quite a lot of vineyards down here. And they look like all sort of different, so must be different types of grapes. These look like little trees, actually, didn't they? So, very nice looking. Sounds like the wind's getting up a bit. What's that? Might just be because we're around about the coast. The nice big hoose up there. What the hell is this thing here? A weird looking building. Okay, and what we've got over here? Looks like we have an airport. Yep, there we go. Airport is one of the planes over there taxiing on the runway. A couple there as well. And the old helicopter. Okay, looks like we've got some farmland around here as well. And the horsey. Always remember some of Arctic Fury's courses. You look at his horses, he's got like a big pile of shit <laughs> just right underneath the horse. I always thought that was funny. A couple of coos, a couple of moomoos. Okay, right, we're going to get back down onto the first tee here and we shall get started. Let's put the HUD back on. Okay, back down the driver. Hole one, 476 yards, par four, no stroke index. 10 mile an hour wind coming in from the left, so it should push it back into the fairway for me. Nice drive to start off. Okay, just under 300 yards it looks like. No, just over 300 yards. Yeah, the wind is pretty strong, 10 mile an hour. A little bit of a right to left break here. Well, slope. 10 mile an hour wind against. So it's playing around about 161. So I think we're going to go with a 7 iron here. Let's try and make sure we go on the green. 
<clears throat> oh man, you the greens were pretty fast, so if this does go on the green, it might run a bit. Oh, the distance was pretty good there. Looks like so we're going to have a nice left to righter. Okay, green speeds are 181, so pretty fast. Uh, 16 feet, 4 inches up. Oh, come on, turn, turn, turn. No, that's not going to make it. Oh, we're near. So we're going to pick up the par there. I need to remember to try and rotate my controller just a little bit when I'm putting. I get that better straight line when I'm putting. I don't mind when I'm um, just hitting like woods and stuff like that, driver. But on the putting, I seem to pull it way too much left. K hole 2, 184 yards, par 3. Pin right in the center of the green, virtually. 10 mile an hour, so we're coming in from like 7 o'clock. I want to aim right about there-ish. Ooh, that might be tough. That tree might come into play, you know. So what I might do... Drop that down. What is that? 184. So it's playing around about 188. I'm put a little bit of loft on it, but I'm also going to put a bit of draw on it as well. Oh, I think I'm put way too much draw on that. <laughs> it's going to hit the path. No, it's going in the bunker. No, thought it was going in the bunker. Wow, that was way too much. I was too worried about the wind more than anything there, I think. 18 yards, playing a 19. 13 yard carry with that. 12 with that. Let's go with go with that, I think. Oh, I don't know. That's actually playing 19. Let's go with that. Oh, that's not bad. That worked out okay. That was a fast and fast as well. We should pick up another par. Okay, I'm going to have to clean my PC out, to be honest. I can hear the fans ramping up a bit. I haven't cleaned it out in months. But the dust covers will be full. <laughs> oh, crap. Got rid of the um, flyby there. There we go. K hole 3, 588 yards, par 5. K, 12 mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side this time. So we'll aim down this right hand side. The wind should help us and push it back into the, uh, onto the fairway for us. Yeah, as I said a couple of days ago in my last video, um, I'm actually redecorating my um, computer room this week. Um, what I've done is I've sort of painted the door and all that before I have to rip the carpet up and strip the wallpaper and all that kind of things. And then I'm going to have to like unplug my computer and my desk so I can get everything done inside here. So I am going to be offline for a few days as of tomorrow. Oh, as of now, this is probably, well, I'll probably do, I'll probably do another video after this one, but I'll put it on a schedule to release it. Um, because I, I'm thinking I'm probably going to be offline for a couple of days. Okay, 258. That's yeah, playing run about 248. Now I think we should be good here with the one iron. Might even be a bit too much, but we're going to have to go for it. Oh, no, it's a fast. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I was kind of looking yesterday. I went through like overclockers and picked all the sort of bits I want for my computer. See, what, I, what I'm doing here, I've got a 980 Ti sitting in my cupboard um, before I upgraded to the 1080 Ti. So I've got that sitting there. I've got a 1080 Ti in the PC that I've got now. And I'm not going to, I'm not paying the money that they want for bloody 2070s or 2080s. All right, what's this? Do 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 15 yards. Chip. Nine yard carry. I don't think that's going to get up over that hill though. So I think we're going to have to go with a flop. That worked out not too bad. Yeah, as I said, so I've got a 1080 Ti in this system. And when I get my new one, I was, as I said, I was looking yesterday and it came to about 1600, 1700 quid. And that's without graphics card in it. 
that's just a CPU, monitor, power unit, and all the other bits and bobs. About 16, 1700 quid. So it's going to be a nice system. I'm going for the 9900K, 32 gigs of RAM. Should be nice. I was looking at the AMD ones, but mm, I'm going to stick with the 9900K because it's mainly just for gaming. Okay, 370, so it's playing around about 380. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 1080 Ti out of the one I'm using now, put it in the new system, then I'm going to use the old 980 Ti that I did have in this system. I'm going to put in back in this system, and I'm going to use this computer that I've got now for streaming, and the new one I'm going to use for gaming. So I should have a, a two PC set up for streaming. It should be good. And that's, I mean, as I said, I was looking yesterday. I mean, I, I could get the stuff. That I don't know whether to build it or get them to build it for me. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I don't know whether I'm probably going to get it mid-December-ish. Um, I, I might even wait till January, you know, just to see what I can get in the January sales. I had a look at Black Friday sales. Some stuff was not bad. Some other stuff's not that great. But okay, 73 and 6 up. Or 18 feet up. So it works out to about 6. So... Ooh, 79, 81, 79, I think we should, I'm going to have to go with that, you know, maybe put some loft on it, oh, oh it's a fast again, no, I'm on the green now, <clears throat> yeah, so I can't wait. Hey, 23 feet and three inches up. Oh shit, that's pa that is ha that is pacey. Oh dear. Okay, see if we can get this for the save. Oh, and we get it. Nice. A hole five, 481 yards. Part four, that's a big elk there, just noticed. Where is he? There he is. I'm sure, we've just seen an elk around here. So, ah, there he is, look. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, right, we should reach that with this wind, you know, and if we don't, we've got a good chance of hitting this path. Oh, if we hit that path, that is going to add quite a lot of distance onto our drive here. Let's go for it. Oh, shite. <laughs> Come on, bounce, 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 bounce. Come on. Are we going to get away with it? Are we going to get away with it? Ah, oh, crap. Trust me, I hit a fast there. Okay, 69 76%, so not great. And that's playing 184, around right about 190 odd. Oh. You know what? And uh, did you. No, I don't, nope. I'm actually gonna. Just lay up here. And leave ourselves. And leave ourselves with a little pitch or a flop shot on. Didn't want to take a chance there landing deep right in that face of the bunker. Okay, 49. Playing around about 54. Oh, what am I doing? Pitch, pitch, pitch. Oh, 57. Pitch 57. What did I say? Plane 54. So let's put quite a lot of loft on this because of that wind as well. Oh, there's another fast crap. Yeah, something there. T Mitchell, if you're watching this, he actually asked the other day 
why do I keep getting so good with tempo downswings? <laughs> oh, this round I'm not. <laughs> but as I said to him, it's all down to the practice. It's just, I mean, I used to just hit the driving range and hit ball after ball until my tempo was, you know what I mean, until you, you had it. So you virtually hardly missed any. But mm, struggling a bit today. Okay, 26, three inches up. Nope, 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 nope. Looks like my putting aiming is off just a little bit as well. Oh crap, this is going to be a bogey. Back to evens, is that? Yeah, wow. Okay, hole six, 404 yards, par four. Great view of this tee here. You've got the vine yards down on the right hand side there. I do like the train work. Nice, um, Nice hilly terrain work. And the wind's with us here as well, so that should be good. Let's hope we get a nice drive. That's better, it's right in the middle of the top marker. That's what I want. Okay, just under 330 yards. Pretty good. Not bad at all. That leaves it 81, right about 82, 83. And let's go a little bit of loft on that. Right, come on. That's better. Push that a little bit to the left though. Oh, that still went pretty far past the pin. Come on, ball. Okay, 16 feet or oh, one inch down. Come on, yay, there we go, nice. <clears throat> so we pull the shot back after that bogey and he reckons this is the hardest R3 on the course according to the thing that he wrote in the forum. Okay, hole seven, 264 yards. Par three, nice view. Big elevation here. Ooh, 100, so that's what? Plane run about 220. About 220. That wind as well, though. Ooh, that wind. That's too much. Ooh, that might be enough if that wind doesn't affect it too much. I'm gonna have to go with this, though. Come on, kind of hoping it hits the fairway and runs on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. And that's not bad. It's running right past the pin. I should have down lofted it, to be honest. I had plenty of room down there. I think it would have made it onto the green without me down lofting it. That's going to leave us one hell of a putt, though. Nice big path. Nice path three, though. Hey, 37 feet, five inches up. A bit of a right to left, and then it goes left to right up by the hole. So let's have a look here. Okay. Oh, no. Hopefully, we'll get the par. And we get the par, so that's not too bad. Okay, hole eight, 608 yards, par five. Pretty big par five, this one. <clears throat> Over the lake. Okay, the fairway splits up there. Again, you've got the vine yards down to your left-hand side there. I like the way the cart paths over. Yes, yeah, goes all the way around the lake here. Pretty cool. All the way around the tee box. Okay, the wind's right in our face this time, virtually. 11 mile an hour, it should be okay with the driver. It should stop short of that cart path. Shouldn't talk mid-swing. I usually muck it up. As you see with the marker there, it was almost a fast. 
well, that's going to be pretty short just over 280 yards that looks like it's whacking a two it up here and let's see what that leaves us Okay, 60, so right about 64, and we've got 63 with the sand wedge, so let's put a bit of loft on it. Okay, we get the perfect, perfect. Ah, that's not bad at all. A little bit too much um, loft on that though, stop pretty quick. Hopefully we'll get the birdie. Turn you, oh you son of a, <laughs> I think I may have took that one just a little bit too quick. That should have been in and out because I didn't think that was too pacey for that lip. K hole nine, 463 yards, R4. Okay, where are we going here? Okay, the fairway splits up over the lake towards the green, over the little bridge. Uh, could that be called a lake or is that? It's more like a big pond, isn't it? Okay, that should be good. Okay, 290 yards. And that leaves us 174, around about 177 to the pin. 10 mile an hour wind against us. We're down loft this six iron. It's turning lovely. All depends on distance though. Oh, that's not bad, you know. Not too bad from now. Okay, eight feet, three inches down. So this is just going to be a little tiny tap, and it's going to turn too much. <laughs> you son of a! <clears throat> I just I just just tapped that with the the par head there. That's a part. Now oh, missed a couple of birdies on that front nine. One bogey, couple of silly par uh, putts, a silly putting mistake, should I say? I like his waste bunker down here on the sort of right hand side just for the trees. Looked like there was a little bit of sand underneath the grass there. Again, nice big bunker there. Okay, we should make this right over here without wind. Oh, it's a bloody fast. Hopefully, I've left that quite far over to the right it should be no no come on miss it miss it stay on the fairway oh, oh that was close damn close nice big drive though 340 yards that leaves a 70 right about 75 to the pin so let's put a little bit of loft on this not bad at all I thought that would have moved a little bit more left there with that little slope we were on and that little bit of wind pushing it yay birdie K hole 11 440 yards par 4 I do like the sparseness of the trees and that as well you got the eh, little clumps of bushes and stuff Nice bit of bunker work down there on the left hand side. Okay, it should be bang on. Nice big sort of generous fairways as well. Okay, 123. 
Uh, it's playing around about 127. Okay, 122 with the gap wedge. A little bit of loft on that. Just to counteract some of the wind there. And that is absolutely bang on. I'll do it. Should pick up another birdie here. Oh, we're on a roll. Oh, you shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I meant to put a bit more pace in that. I was thinking in my head there, I was thinking rotate the control a little bit as I was swinging. swinging. So, oh, my head was all over the place on that putt. The yips. <laughs> that was terrible. Must have three or four putts now I've screwed up. Hole 12, 226 yards, par 3. Over the lake, a little bit downhill it looks like. Three bunkers in front of the green. Pins at the back, which is good. Nine mile an hour wind coming in from the right hand side. So, what's that? 231, 29 down. It's playing around about 221. We should be good with it. the four hybrid. 221 though. 201. No, we're going to have to go with a four hybrid. Bit of loft on it. Oh, sh shit. Mind you, that might actually help us out, you know. I mean, look at that. That went right over. <clears throat> oh, yeah. What am I saying? I forgot. It's HP in it. You hit a slow downswing. The ball goes further than what it should do anyway. <laughs> Right, 12 yards, one foot down. This is going to run away quite a bit when it hits the green. Let's put a little bit of loft on this. Don't want full power, just want to hit, get it on the edge of the green now. Uh-oh, get on the green though. Crap! Oh, look at that swing. A very fast and a slow. Oh, come on, can you get this? Oh yes, nice save, nice par. K hole 13, 478 yards, par 4. Do you like the colours of the flowers there on the left hand side? A little bit of purple sort of coming out there, or bluish. I think it was purple at the point. Hole 13, 478 yards. Wind against us again. Be right in the middle. Three hundred and ten yards, and that is going to leave us one fifty-two, sixteen up. So it's playing around about one fifty-seven. So let's go with the A iron, and we shall down loft it, counteract that wind. Oh, pull that way over to the left there. If you look at that swing. Nice distance though. That would have been, oh, look at that. If I hit that straight down the middle, that would have been in the bloody hole. <laughs> okay, come on. Yay, nice. That looks like stables over there. Or some sort of animal feet. K hole 14, 318 yards. Par 4 again. Nice view off the tee here. Nice planting. Must be high, quite a high terrain because you, you just seen a, just seen a seagull there that looked pretty low. Well, I do like how bridges got over there. I missed that when I was doing my little sort of flyby. Oh, two wood. What are you doing? Let's just smack the driver up there. Shouldn't reach the green, but it will be close. It should leave us with a, a chip or a flop, I reckon. Oh, my reach. Oh, no, it's in the bloody light rough. Might have reached the edge of the green now. Okay, 14 yards or oh, one foot up. And we're going to go down to the sand wedge here. Lovely. Says so up. What up, Ernie? I mean, you said that last time, missed an easy bloody putt. <clears throat> but we get this one. Okay, hole 15, 601 yards. Par 5. Christ, you wouldn't want to fall down there, would you? 
There's some huge changes coming to um, YouTube on December the 1st from COPPA, uh, Children Online Private, Private Something Association. <laughs> and what we've got to do now, every time we um, upload a video, we've got to mark it if it's, marked for, if it's made for kids or not for kids. And the, the FTC and COPPA, if you mark your videos not for kids and they deem that it is for kids, they can actually fine you $42,000 per video if they like go against you, which is bloody ridiculous. I mean, I had a look at all my analytics and all that and a child in their eyes is 13 years and under, but I should be good. I've marked mine as not for kids. I, I mean, I do drop the odd swear word now and again, and I, I don't expect kids to watch my videos anyway. Not Fortnite. But yeah, I mark all mine as not for kids, so that should be okay, I reckon. But it's going to screw up a lot of people, a lot of channels. So what happens if you mark it for kids? And what they do is you don't get uh, any notifications sent to anybody. Your, your chat box, your, um, your comments is disabled. You don't get, you, um, what do you call it, adverts and all that on it as well. Uh, they reckon they could drop about 92% of their um, income on some of these channels. I mean, me, I, I hardly make anything on YouTube. I just do this for fun anyway, you know what I mean? So it's not going to really affect me. Okay, 57. That's playing 40. What's that, about 40, 49. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that line, wow. I even, oh crap, I hit that well, I even tried to knock, uh, my head's all over the place on this round. <clears throat> too much, too much um, talking, <laughs> I'm not concentrating, but it doesn't matter, we're here to look at the golf course, not my, um, not my play. Okay, 34 feet, one inch up. Okay, left to right putt here, let's try and concentrate these last couple of holes then. I said, let's try and concentrate, and what do I do? Might as well have just got the bloody driver out with that. Jesus, come on, right. Okay, can we get the save? It's a tough putt, wow. Nope, that's gonna be another bogey. Ah, a little bit of lacking concentration on this hole, talking about copper and bloody FTC. So I think all the channels are going to be screwed up. Are the people like Luke, Luke, uh, Luke, Luke Paul, Logan Paul? <laughs> Don't even know his bloody name. They do videos for the aged at between eight and fifteen year olds, and then you've got all your Fortnite players and all that as well. They're going to lose. Oh, they're going to lose a lot of money, I think. Hey, one ninety, forty four down. So that's playing around about one eighty, one seventy six ish, I think. I think we should be good with the six iron because of that wind. All right, come on. Let's see if we can get a couple of birdies. Oh, I should have moved that a little bit more to the left there. Yeah, that was nice. Nice distance, that one. Okay, 14 feet, three inches up. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough today. Oh, yes, get it. Nice. Okay, hole 17, 308 yards. Par four. Okay, pretty straightforward, this one. Looks like it's a little bit uphill. Okay, let's just... Oh, looks like we can probably get on there with the driver, you know. But how far past the hole will we go? This might go right over the back of the green here. Kind of hoping it hits on the upslope. 
Oh, I didn't even make a bloody green. <laughs> that ups, I wanted to hit the upslope, but it kind of ran through that rough there and it just slowed right down. Hey, 17 yards, two feet up. We should be good with, I reckon, I reckon the 11 yards, the gap wedge. Ah, 100% that would have been right up at the hole there. But hopefully we'll pick up the birdie here. Oh, look at that putting swing. I pushed that to the left again. I need to keep remembering on my putting, just rotate the controller just a little bit. You see on the 18th, I'll do it. I'll, I'll try and remember, I'll do it on the 18th, and you'll see the difference in my putting swing. Oh, shit, did it again. That's me not concentrating. Look, Mr. Flyby. Well, there's another elk. Okay, there's flyby. Nice. Nice little thin bit down here as well. Oh, a nice little pond right in front of the green. 577. <clears throat> Alright, we should be good to hit it down here. I'll do it here. Watch, I'll rotate the controller a little bit left in my hands. Yeah, that's still a bit off, but I can usually swing a lot straighter. As, as you see, that's what I pushed a little bit to the right. I'm always pulling to the left. <clears throat> Sometimes I will compensate. <clears throat> yeah, it just helps me sometimes. Just rotating it a little bit to the left. Hey, two wood. That should be good, you know. Let's have a look at the green. Mm, oh yeah, that should be okay. Now, uh, hope that goes a little bit right of the pin. And then the green pulls it kind of around towards the, the hole. <coughs> a little bit short. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I'll try it here. I'll just rotate the club, the controller, a little bit and see if I can get a, a straight up putting line. Looks like it's going a little bit right to left here. 26 feet or one foot up. Ah. <gasps> Have I hit it hard enough? I don't think I have. Yeah, see, that's a bit of a better part of line. Usually mine's way over to the left. But that's going to end up with a birdie. So there you go, guys. That is Sonoma Wine and Cheese Club. And that is by D-Dog. Very nice course. I really like that. <coughs> Again, do apologize, D-Dog. I never got around to it. Um, but there you go. A very nice course. I've been meaning to play this for quite a while. So, Sonoma Vine, Wine and Cheese Club. Minus six, two bogeys. Not a bad round, though. My putting, I did make quite a few mistakes. Uh, so, don't forget, guys, if you like the content, hit that like button, and I will catch you again next time and give this a play.